I don't know. <laughs> Wanted it. A couple slipped out of my hand. Uh, just to get to my spots. Um, I, I really wanted to get to that elbow, but um, the way they were sinking in, really couldn't get there. But I, I knew where I was going the moment I got that rebound. So uh, I just appreciate Coach D for um, believing in me. So. Um, it feels good. I mean, a lot of those close games were um, a lot of bad luck, I think. A lot of tough shots that were made um, was kind of deflating. So it just feels good to get back in the win column, even though it wasn't super pretty. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to work on still, but it just feels good to, to be back in the win column. I think getting the dub is the most important part. So um, just, just getting in and um, building off of it. Um, Coach D preaches that we're going to be in a lot of close games this year, especially with conference coming up. So. Just, just learn how to win. Austin, you had a, a legendary NEC season coming into the mm -hmm. season. You had to kind of work your way back to where you stood. How, how has the process been coming up to this point, and how are you feeling about it? Um, it's been a long process. I'm still not all the way there. You know, it's um, a lot of limited practice days for me, um, and uh, really just managing the the pain um, in my foot. But uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, getting into better shape, so I think uh, I'm going to just continue to get better from here. Well, you, know, you had a, a, rough, a rough first half when you were on there for Rebel Bars. How, how, what was the mindset that changed in the second half that sort of got things going? Just slowing the game down, uh, really just running our sets, uh, getting to my spots, just trying to um, get the ball to go in the basket, really um, focusing on um, my form and stuff like that. Getting to the rim, I think, um, helped me get myself going. So, I think I think it's just like I just said, it's a process. You know, learn um, when to go and not to, especially me and Jackie being so young. So, um, just just keep believing and just keep running the system. And I think it's all gonna work out. Just just playing with each other more. Um, I, I feel like we we it's one and one and two guards, so we we could definitely feed off each other. And he he could shoot the ball and score the ball so well, so it's definitely easier drawing my man and kicking a a great shooter like Jackie. So I just think playing playing with each other more is, is definitely going to help. Uh, we both have high IQ, so it should it should it shouldn't be hard. Yeah, I mean Jackie. Jackie. Jackie can score. Score the ball, and, and he definitely is uh, definitely tough. So, um, having those two tough leading guards, it, it definitely puts a plus to our team. Um, but I just think um, us two together are definitely going to be fun this year to, to finish out the year, and definitely going into conference. So, um, both of us playing well. We weather's a storm for a lot of teams. Not not necessarily. I mean, Coach D's been doing this a long time, so I, I really I'm very confident in his his decision making. So I I, I just sit back and, and do what I'm told. Really. You guys had a season high 28 points off the bench today, and a couple solo struggles. Is this going to be the formula where you have to have a lot of input from the entire rotation in order to win 28 points? Um, I think going forward, the emphasis has to be on sharing it more, sharing the ball, even if it means. Um, Nobody averages more than 15 or so. I think uh, the more balanced our scoring is uh, game to game, I think will be will be better because obviously there's more threats, more people uh, getting involved, and uh, just gives everybody a little bit more confidence. You know, got to ask what your confidence level was uh, in that being an and one versus being a one <laughs> on that bench. On that bench. I mean, I, I thought it was an and one initially yeah. when he when he came over with the one and one. I, I definitely was was questioning it, but. Um, I figured once they reviewed it, it would definitely be a one, um, a and one, because I thought that's what it was initially. So. You felt that ridiculous situation of them trying to say. Yeah. And one. Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> it definitely was confusing. <laughs> Your favorite, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Appreciate. It.